just heard the awful news. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment below. Uh, episode 44. Uh, it is what? The 4th of winter, maybe? Thursday, the 4th of winter. Really need to do some decorating, so we'll have to pick a day where we just forget our other duties and whatnot, and, and hopefully can get to it. But I want to get that special order done for the ectoplasm. Uh, but again, it's not a big deal. So nothing really relevant in weather or uh, luck. But living off the land says, wondering how to get your hands on refined quartz? Just put regular old quartz in the furnace. You only love a cold fuel to fire. You can also put fire quartz into the uh, furnace. We got 500 bucks from the Stardew Valley Agri Agricultural Fund. So you can also put uh, a fire quartz in there, and it will actually get you three pieces of refined quartz. So that's cool. I know I don't need that cockle, so we'll just go ahead and sell it. Um, so the bus got fixed. So we can go to the desert today. Now, you have to pay Pam. you got to buy a ticket, actually. You don't pay Pam. Pam drives the bus, but you have to buy a ticket and give the ticket to Pam. And then she drives you to the desert. So, we'll see about that. We might be able to do it today. Not 100% sure, but it's not like a huge deal that we do it. Because there's not a whole lot that I need to do in the desert at the moment. One nice thing, though, that... I would like to do is go up and get our newest and greatest weapon. In my opinion, the best weapon in the game. There is one that technically has better like power ratings or damage ratings, but I don't like it because it's a club as opposed to a sword in terms of how it's classified. And I prefer the sword weapon type. So. <clears throat> I feel like there was something that I just recently saw that was noteworthy about Stardew, but I can't remember what it is, so not a big deal. My phone is blowing up. We're a couple weeks out from my trip to go and watch the uh, PGA Championship golf tournament, so I guess I got goat milk yesterday. I feel like I didn't get goat milk yesterday, but apparently not. You know what I'm trying to say. So, put that away. <clears throat> anyway, we're we're only a couple of weeks away from having to make our trip for the golf tournament. So, we're, I guess I can leave that open. Probably leave that open. Anyway, um, we're ironing out some details as far as logistics and money that needs to Where's my other egg? There it is. Hiding behind the heater. <coughs> Alright. So. What else should we do today? But, it, but anyway, I was talking about that stuff because that's why my phone is blowing up right now. And it's going to bother me. So. Uh, let's go there and there. I don't think I need any more eggs, do I? Yeah, I have five for now. That's probably good. Stick that in there. Sell, 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 sell. Or actually, hang on a minute. Gold goat cheese. We'll be saving. Right? <clears throat> yep. Smelt some more copper, I guess. Got a lot of copper. And then I need cranberry and a pale ale. So. Doosh. Doosh. And then. Doosh. Boom. 
All right, I gotta find Penny today. Oh, one other thing. You come with me. So let's try and get that done today. So all that stuff we kind of need to deal with. Where is Penny on Thursdays? I probably should have gone to the bus stop first. Just gone up to the desert to knock that out, but it's not a big deal. It doesn't really matter. But, you know, people talk about like winter being kind of like their least favorite season because there's no crops to take care of and it just seems like you have nothing to do. Uh uh. You have a ton to do. There's always a ton that you can be doing in this game. So, Penny is probably, now that I think about it, at the library with the kiddos teaching them so Lewis is like hey did you find did you hear that the bus is working again it's a complete mystery and I want to say no oh, it's not a mystery it's this that you've been mismanaging the you know community funds and haven't been able to maintain any of the stuff in this community that is basically like your only job like, you throw a good festival, I'll give you that. But come on, man. <clears throat> Alright. Please, Penny, be here. Nope. Can we donate anything? Yeah, I'm not donating that prismatic shard, so you can just forget it there, Gunther. Alright. What do we have to read? Technology report. The blueprints for an advanced piece of machinery called a crystallarium have, re have recently been published. This can grow crystals from all and nothing, providing their owners with endless supplies of valuable gems. Place a gem of your choice in the crystal area. Be patient, and it will eventually grow you a copy of what you placed inside. So you grab that copy, and it keeps on making clones over and over and over. It does not work on prismatic shards. Um, that, I think, is like when the game first launched... And you could use the, the crystallariums. I think you could clone prismatic shards, but he changed that a while back. So, anyway. The secrets of legendary fish. Fishermen speak of five rare and unique fish that can only be caught by skilled anglers. So there's the crimson fish that lives in the ocean in summer. Glacier fish in the winter off the southern tip of Arrowhead Island. Maybe we can do that here in the next episode or two. Anglerfish, which we caught in the fall. Uh, and then a strange twisted fish that lives in the sewer. And then finally, legend. Just rumored that it lives in a log submerged in a mountain lake. Only ventures out on rainy spring days. Only the most skilled fishermen catch this one or hope to catch this one boom there you go so that's the five different legendary fish that can be caught in this game all right what do we want to do here it's 11 40 we are gonna go like this boom bus stop all right pamela -ma ding dong take me Hey, did you hear about the old bus? Yep, I'm back in the saddle, kid. <laughs> yeah, feels nice. So you go here, buy a ticket for 500G. Yes, I would love a ticket for 500G. So, here we go. We are in the desert. Now, there's a desert, desert merchant there selling stuff, as you can see, that we drove right past. Um, we got some wormies. There's a dinosaur skeleton sitting here. Uh, most people, or a, a lot of people don't know this, but you can actually cut down these trees. So it took me a long time to learn that. Which, the reason that that's relevant is that in the winter, they can be a pretty decent source. Man, lots of books and stuff. Uh, they can be a source of uh, lumber for you. Now, you come in here and... This lady's like, oh, oh, a customer? And she's all happy. 
she's like, hey, welcome to Sandy's Oasis. Hey, you look just like the, the new farmer that Eva, Emily wrote to me about. Then the bus line to Stardew Valley is back in service. <coughs> so how did Emily get a letter here? Like, who is delivering the mail? And could they not have just brought parts for the bus to fix the bus? Oh, I'm so happy. So she's happy because now there's a new customer. And then there's this dude back here that's like, Psh. and he won't even say anything to me. He's just, he's a bouncer. So, like, what's that all about? I guess we'll have to figure out. So let's talk to Miss Sandy. Please visit again soon. I get so bored out here. Okay. Now, what does she sell? She sells cactus seeds. Rhubarb. So she sells, these three things are seasonal crops. So this is fall, summer, and spring. Cactus seeds can only be grown indoors. They take 12 days and then they produce fruit every three days. Um, I don't know that we'll do those because we'll get a ton of cactus fruit just like, wait, let's look at what else she sells, sorry. Sweetie, won't you buy something? A seasonal plant, deluxe speed grow, a shirt, a wall cactus, and a rug. I kind of want to buy some starfruit seeds. What I am actually going to buy before I forget is some rhubarb. We're going to buy 36 of them to be exact. Because we'll plant those in the springtime. So how's that sound? Now, over this way. I don't see any stuff over there to get. And now, if we come up here, okay, so here's a cactus fruit. Boom. <coughs> Wait for it. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go like this. Another library book. Stones. This, and now, hold this. I think we read the, the library book where it said something about the pillars in the desert and the, the, sh the you know, colorful stone from the earth or whatever you stand right there and boom what is happening <laughs> galaxy sword the prismatic shard changes shape before your very eyes the power is tremendous you found the galaxy sword so 60 to 80 damage and plus 4 speed versus 30 to 45 damage and minus one speed but you get critical power so this thing is like twice as good ready for this come get some Ooh, we should go fishing we'll do that in a second first i want to show you this look it's got a skull on the door <gasps> you insert the skull key into the keyhole it's a perfect fit so that thing is gone that final like mining egg hunt quest that they kept on sending us on so this is the skull cavern now the skull cavern you see i start on the first floor there are no elevators with this one so every time you come here you start at the top again so there's that that you need to remember <clears throat> but this is where if you get deep enough you can get some iridium um, but like, we're not going to try and do that today. That bug right there, you can't kill unless you get a, uh, perk for your galaxy sword. We're not going to spend any time in there today because we're not very well equipped to, uh, get much done in the skull cavern. Let's, since we're up here, let's, let's try and catch a fish. You can catch a sand fish in here and you can catch a scorpion carp. Now... If I hook a scorpion car, you will know it, and I won't catch it, <laughs> because they jump around like crazy, and without a trap bobber, I won't be able to catch it. Like, that's a sandwich. Boom. That's most of what we'll catch here, <clears throat> but I can't remember what else you catch up here. Green algae. Yep. Shocker. And then the scorpion carp. You know, one thing that I need to think about uh, for an investment is the 
Oh, goodness. See that thing jumping around like crazy? That is the scorpion cart. Although, we're hanging in there here. Nope. Yeah. That one is hard to catch. <laughs> it's... It's spicy. Jumps around like crazy. Uh, any, anyway, I was saying, one thing I need to think about buying is the upgraded fishing rod. Oh, come on, dude. Let's just try and anticipate what he's going to do. Come on, back down. Nope. Come on. Come on. Stay. Stay. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Holy smokes! I'm doing all of this battling, and I'm probably, you know, I'm just not going to catch him. <laughs> right? Uh... Yeah. Holy. Hi, Manili. Just give me a sandfish, would ya? Um, I need to buy the upgraded fishing rod. I do that, and then I can put a trap bobber on it. And then I'll be able to catch some of these super difficult fish. So, we'll need to do that at some point. Alright, that is a sandfish. Which we got a perfect and a treasure. And got one piece of bait. Alright, let's catch one more sand. Whoops, whoops. Cast that way. We're gonna try and catch one more sandfish. We'll go to the mines and try and get a ghost, but, you know, we're probably not going to get that one done today either. Which kind of stinks, because I really want to have a day where I've got some freedom. But I don't want to let those... It's, it's one thing to let a help wanted go, but to let a special order go... I want this treasure. To let the special order go really stinks. Give me something awesome. Piece of bait again? that about all right let's head home um in fact you know it's already like five o'clock let's just go home and maybe look at doing some uh some light decorate although i don't have the stuff that i need really to decorate where is uh dubs left him in town yeah you know what he's gonna stay there because i'm just going home Sorry, Dubs. Let's uh, let's see here. We're gonna sell that. I'm gonna keep the coconuts. I feel like I need them for something later on. So we're gonna sell that and that and that. Right. Oh, I didn't say hi to Bink Cat this morning. I better remember to do that. I should have gone to Clint's and, and had him upgrade uh, a tool, but we would have been out of cash. And then wouldn't have been able to buy our... Uh, <coughs> what's it called? Uh, what is it called, guys? Rhubarb. Let's go put the rhubarb away while we're thinking about it. So, boom. Uh, I can sell this sword. That can go in there. Let's do... Nope, 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 nope. Let's do that. Boom. Now. Of this stuff. That'll go in there. That will go in there. That will go in there. I don't really know that I need fire quartz, though, now that I think about it. It is, I believe, a universal like, though, so that's probably a good reason to have it. Um, okay, so we're going to put coconuts in here, I think, because you can get them in any season because you get them in the desert. So that's my all-season box. Boom, boom, sell. Actually, I need that duck mayo, don't I? 
Yep, now I have two of those, so actually we're saving the cactus fruit too. And the fish. Boom. Okay, and we need to save the one winter root. I could go look for Penny, but she's probably um, home. And I don't think I can get into her home at this hour. We'll give it a look. Because there's that. I only have, okay, I have four more days. I gotta get that done by Sunday. So I think my fastest way to get there is probably just to go on foot. <coughs> I probably should have um, just done a little bit of decorating, but I don't have that much stuff to actually like do the decorating. Like I need furniture and stuff. Demetrius wants somebody to kill crabs. Are those lava crabs or rock crabs? Lava crabs. Not sure that's going to get done there. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? He wishes he could control the weather. Is that Penny right there? It is! Look at this! Yeah, I'd like to talk. I have a winter root for you. Boom. That's good. She's going to like me a little bit more. Let's see if we can get in to see George and Evelyn. Yeah. George is watching Jeopardy at 7 o'clock, so. All right. We'll pop into the saloon real quick. Say hello to everybody. Luke. Uh, Willie says basically the same thing every single time you talk to him in the saloon. Boom. Boom. And... Now, we're going to head down to the river, I guess, and just fish a little bit, because there might be some winter fish that we can try and snatch, I guess. I don't know. We've got a couple hours to kill, so. I'm trying to think of what we should do tomorrow. We really need to try and get to the mines, I guess, and try and get that ghost ectoplasm quest done. So, that's probably going to have to be the priority. It's Friday, so we'll want to go to the traveling cart, I guess. We don't really need to, though. We'll, we'll try and check it out if we, if we feel like we're doing well on time. Perch. Have I caught perch before? I can't remember. We got one now. Let's see if we can get another one just to make sure we have two to stash away in our chest. I know we've got plenty of bream. Uh, I did notice just listening to the audio from the, the last episode that. I really like having more of the in-game audio that you can hear. I just feel like it adds to the experience. If you think it's too loud, let me know. But I feel like it's just right. And I have room to go up or down if I need to. So that's awesome. Alright, come on. Give me another perch, please. There we go. Let's, uh, let's check this trash. And let's head home. Could probably fish in the forest river. Let's just cast one time. One time into the forest river. See what we get. If it's something awesome, great. But just one time. Ooh, look at it jumping around. Is that a tiger trout? Didn't we get that quest the other day and I wasn't even sure if we could catch it in the winter? Pike. I think I've caught pike as well. So, uh, What did we get done today? We went to the desert. That's the big one. 
went to the desert for the first time, got us a galaxy sword, took a peek at the, um, what's it called? We took a peek at the skull cavern. It's a good day. Some noteworthy stuff. Uh, boom, boom. Hang on to that coal, because we're going to need it to make more copper. Uh, let's get two more of you guys to make some more beer. Now, fish. I have walleye. I have pikes. I do not see perch. So, boom. That's cool. You go there, and then, boom, sell, right? Let's go. I feel bad for leaving dubs downtown, but you know what? It's okay, he'll find his way. He's getting freedom. All right, you, I want to move in there. Uh, chicken statue, go over there. Leah statue, come right here. We're going to put it, like, right there in our bedroom because it means so much to us. Okay. Now what? We've got a day of... Uh, ghost hunting ahead of us. Let me put down some notes about what we did today, though. So, desert, galaxy sold, uh, skull cavern peak. Okay. All righty. <clears throat> So, Friday the 5th, anything on the calendar, negatory. In weather, it's going to be sunny tomorrow. Fortune teller says it is a very bad luck day. Dang it. Never like that when you're going to the mines and you get that. Oh, 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 look at this. I see you've entered this skull. Uh, what voice should we give this guy? Mr. Quee. And by the way, it is pronounced Quee, according to Concerned Ape himself. He says Qui, so that's how it is. I see you've entered the Skull Cavern. Well done. I've got a better challenge for you, kid. Make it at least 25 levels deep. I've got a mountain of gold to send you if you can do it. Your friend, Mr. Qui. So, just when we thought we were done with these goals and quests in the mines, here comes Mr. Qui, and he's like, nope. Finally found the Skull Cavern. Now, you need to get to level 25 in it. <sighs> Come on, guys. All right. Where are we? Hey, buddy. <clears throat> All righty. You know, I think we're going to skip the um, traveling cart and just go to the mines. Let's get up there and get after the ectoplasm. You know what I mean? Get that done. All right, so... Oh, my gosh. When did we plant the ancient fruit? Anybody remember? Was it the 23rd? Pretty sure it was a Tuesday. And I think that would make it where the 23rd is correct. We'll find out. It doesn't really matter, though.
I don't even remember what day I planted the pumpkins. It was probably the last day of fall. Now that I think about it, because we had to buy them in the fall. So, anyway. And that's when we planted the trees, too. Alright. I'm not going to worry about the tree stuff today. In fact, I kind of want to let them get all on the same cycle. So let's just come down and take care of the animals. We should have goat milk today. Pretty sure, right? And that would mean odd number days. Net me goat's milk. Boom. See you later, guys. Man, I need to get that cash flowing again so I can get uh, the auto grabber. I'm about to sneeze. Hang on. Ugh, alright. Excuse me. Alrighty, there we go. Did I say hello to all them? We did. Okay. Now. Go drop this stuff off. Boom. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got a bunch of copper bars. That's good. And then, do I need to save anything else? So we need to save the milk and eggs for later. And now, let's go. Let's get up to the mines and get going. Sell, sell, sell. Pam shows up at the bus stop at 10. Now, there's a way that you can speed that up a little bit, but it's not a big deal. All right, we're going... To the mines. Now, I've got my sweet galaxy sword. Let's put this stuff in here. Yeah. Level 50. Here we come. See, those guys should pretty much take one swing from now on with my sweet galaxy sword. Oh, come on. Give me some ghosts. Let me get this done, y'all. Tired of ghost hunting. Alright, I'm not seeing anything worth staying on this floor, so. Nope. Uh, yep. Let, let, well, let's go kill these guys. Why not? Ooh, he got me a piece of iron. Thanks, buddy. Run away! So we're striking out so far on our ghost hunt. There's one. Oh my gosh. Wow, look at all the ladders. Now, I don't want ladders. I want ectoplasm. Now, he's going to take a bunch of hits. Another ghost fish. I'm not going... Well, well, we'll try level 70. Might get lucky and see the ghost instead of the skeletons. We'll even try level 75. Nope. Let's leave and start over. Level 50. Come on, baby. Nope. This is killing me. We got some uh, black bouncies. I'll go get the black bouncies. I don't have any problem taking a minute to do that. Because it gets me coal, which is always a resource that you end up struggling to keep up with. You know, run out of coal constantly. 
on with this. What have I seen? One ghost so far? What floor was that? 60? 5? 70? Uh, we'll do this. Why not? Doesn't look like it's going to be a very fruitful trip in terms of our ectoplasm hunting, so we might as well try and at least just be somewhat productive with it, you know? Drop me a ladder. Dang it. I really need to get some food that will help me be super fast. <laughs> Anything? Negative. Back to level 50. There's a ghost. Come on, buddy. Do it. Nope. Ay, ay, ay. What's frustrating is that, like I, like I said in the last episode, it didn't take me very long at all to get this one done last time because... 12 o'clock noon, sharp, last day of the season. Check the bush above the playground. That one's pretty self-explanatory. 12 o'clock noon, check the bush above the playground on the last day of any season. So, there you have it. Come on, ghosts. There's one. Be the one. Oop. Dang it. Come on, man. Oh, I thought that was a slime. <laughs> Definitely not a slime. We're going to be up here all day. Can we get this done? We got here, like, before noon, didn't we? Ooh, another coffee bean. We should be able to start a pretty decent coffee empire uh, in the spring. Come on, be the one. Do it. Nope. This is driving me crazy. What would really stink is if we, you know, keep trying to do this, making the effort, and can't do it just out of bad luck. You know what I mean? It'd be one thing if we, like, you know, decided to take a couple days off and only did it, like, the last day, thinking we could get it, and then we don't. It's like, well, we kind of made our bed, so now we sleep in it. But, like, I'm doing all the right things to get this thing. Oh, there's a ladder down there. Might as well go for it. Any ghosts floating about? Probably not. Forget it. Go! There's one. This is it. I can feel it. Boom. <sighs> Rascal. Uh, let's go ahead and get this. I'm going to keep going level 50. Um... I feel like we've had decent success finding it on level 51 right there. So, another... Oh, I got it! I got it! Yes! Yes! So, now we just need to go talk to the wizard. We'll kill these bats. Grab this iron. 
Ooh, you thought you were gonna get me, didn't you, Bat? And then I was like, Galaxy Sword! It's the death! No, don't use... Yeah, there we go. Alright, can I bring all this stuff with me now? Yes, I can. And I can go to the Adventurer's Guild and sell them. Ooh, I think that's new, isn't it? Nope, I already have that. Okay. Is that new? Nope. Digging up all kinds of stuff. All right. Sell that for 300 bucks. Hey, buddy. Ooh, I got a reward. An insect head. A level four sword. It looks cool, but it's not very pleasant to wield, as you can see. It's not very effective. But we're going to go ahead and sell. <laughs> How are we doing on these? We're quarter of the way to our thousand slimes goal, and that'll get me the slime charmer ring, which I really want to have for the skull caverns. Void spirits need a bunch. Bats we're doing okay. Skeletons still need 30. Cave insects we've done. Duggies we're most of the way there. Dust sprites we're about halfway. Rock crabs, not quite halfway, and then four that we haven't even encountered yet, or killed at least, I should say. There might be some that we've encountered but have not killed, although I don't think that's the case. All right, let's just, uh, since we're over here, might as well come and just clean this up real quick. Then we'll take the, ooh, a ruby, nice. What do I use rubies for? Oh, I know. Um, you can get... Uh, man, it's windy out right here. Uh, you can get spicy eel from the desert merchant in exchange for... Uh, where's my... Yeah, there's... Dubs. You give the, the desert merchant a ruby, and he gives you a lava eel. Uh, also, on Sunday, you can give him jade, and he will give you... I didn't even notice we got that, but it's not the one that I need. Uh, you give him jade on Sunday, and he gives you staircases. Straight up. Anything I know I need to sell? Uh, whatever, we'll deal with it later. Let's go get to the wizards before he closes up shop for the night. We might as well pop into the, uh... Oh, is it too late for the traveling cart lady? I think she's done at 8 o'clock. Yeah. Almost made it. It's okay, though. <clears throat> I feel like there's more... Oh, my gosh. Mixed seeds. You don't. Although I could have come up here, given this dude the ectoplasm. Ah, it's breathing with the energy of forgotten souls. Perfect. Now be gone. I shall require perfect silence to discern the true nature of this substance. Okay. 2,500 bucks for that. That's pretty good. Right? But I could have gone and given him that and then come back to get that crocus or whatever it was instead of throwing away my mixed seeds, but I do not miss those mixed seeds at all. So, it's okay. All right. Back to the farmstead. Uh, that was a pretty good episode. We finally got the ghost hunting quest done. Um... What else did we do? Got the galaxy sword. Went to the desert for the first time. So, some good stuff happening. All right, where is my milk? Boom, 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 boom. Uh, oh, come on with this. So, you go in there, you go in there, you guys all go in there. Uh, that, that that 
Uh, actually, let's go ahead and grab some of that. And then we can do that. And then we go like this. Boom. Now, uh, wait, wait, wait. You guys know how to go back in there. And then... Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Wait, what am I doing? You guys go in there. You go in there. Uh, geodes... Nothing. I don't think. That's a decoration. I've got a, now a couple of rusty cogs. Got an ancient doll decoration. So, you go there, sell, save, and then sell all of that stuff, right? I already saved gold goat cheese, right? Yep. There we go. So, you go in there, and we're selling all of that. Oh. Boom. Let's do some gold. There we go. All right. You know what? I'm not liking... Do I have more maple syrup? I'm going to go ahead and make... What do what do those take? Iron. Maple syrup. Coal. Times eight. And then wood. But I don't remember how much wood. Oh my gosh. We're, okay, let's do that. Boom. Let's get that done. Now... You go back in there. <clears throat> there we go. I guess I can probably make another uh, bee house too, right? Or no, we're good on. Okay, that's it. So we've got ten of each. That's good enough for right now. And then let's actually you come here, and I'm just gonna move him there. And then what I'll do is put a flower next to that one come springtime. Or something like that. So, just get your mind prepared for it. Boom! That was a pretty good episode. And if you have not done so already, please be sure to hit the like button. For heaven's sake, hit the subscribe button comment below and actually before i sign off this right here sometimes reminds me of there's a back to the future chime that they do in certain scenes and i'll have to see if i can find it but it reminds me of that part of back to the future for whatever reason but anyway hit the subscribe button comment below and we will see y'all next time Ooh, we can now make a crystallarium. We don't have the stuff to do it, but we have the recipe for it, so that's cool.